There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Uh, what you have right in front of you right now is Deliver Us the Moon. Just released, just came out, and uh, pretty much we're going to go through it. We're going to see what's uh, what's up with this game. How is it? Uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't know why we're playing on this uh, shitty resolution here. But we're going to go to uh, 4K. Apply. Uh, keep changes. There we go. Uh, everything is basically epic quality in terms of graphics. So we got anti-aliasing, whatever. This is all default. Uh, can't go anymore. All epic. Everything is epic. Uh, audio is is all this. Uh, bindings. These are just the normal things. But we're going to be using a controller, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to increase the sensitivity just a little bit. Uh, go to gameplay. Text. English. Spoken English subtitles we're gonna turn on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead We're gonna start up a new game and we're gonna see what this game has to offer for us uh, It is using ray tracing technology. So it is gonna be pretty cool. I am playing on a i9 9900k uh, RTX 2080 Ti founders edition So we're gonna be going with those 32 gigabytes of RAM and if you would like to see my full list of uh a setup gear or whatever I use it's always in the description everything will always be there uh, my first gaming PC setup my second is all there and if you're interested in Star Wars what I use for mods it's it's all there everything is pretty much there so everything is good to go so without a further ado we're gonna hit a uh, new game and we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what deliver us the moon is all about well I guess kinda in the beginning it told us what it was about but you know what I mean. Now, well, here we go. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. 
Several governments have pledged All right, so here we are. Despite reports of resource shortages. So we got here the, uh, between the northern 49th and 50th latitude the memorial stuff, and all the history the about what's country, happening on the planet. So we're here. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Uh, microwave power transmitter generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on Earth. Fueled by helium-3 harvested on the moon. Oh, that's pretty cool. So only we can expect that one. Okay. We got no legs as usual. Uh, let's uh, suspect this. Moon Man. Far Crossing. A babe astronaut. Ha, <laughs> babe. A brave astronaut ventures to the moon. His mission to explore the lunar expanse and uncover its mysteries. While the road is desolate and hardships many, he knows that he must preserve to save mankind. I got I got some tape on my screen right now. So it's going to be a little bit weird to read because uh, I, I put tape on my screen. When I'm doing the uh, no HUD gameplays of Battlefront 2. Ground launch sequence number one. Number two, orbital access arm. Number three. It's just showing us the rocket. We've done and found some before during our simulations. We know you can do this. Good luck, Clint. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die, dude. Katina, so, are you there? Oh, hello. Uh, where do I? Is it? No. I hear something outside. I think we're still on the desert. So we're going to go ahead and grab our helmet. And we're going to continue on. So let's uh, press this button. And uh, grab our stuff. So as you can see, there's some ray tracing. When you move around, the lights are changing. So let's grab this and let's uh, get going. Control to Fortuna One. This is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Astro tool. Welcome. Confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. All right. So I should probably take a mental note of this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically it goes in a triangle and then a, a reverse check mark. And then, okay, I think I got this. All right, here we go. 2059, five years after the blackout. There she is, the Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. That's not good. Scanning. Scanning. So we got to scan some stuff here. To continue on. Mission log. Uh, enter the launch facility. The mission. Okay. Now, it does look pretty cool. The game does look really amazing right now. Ah. Uh, oh, we can sprint. Okay. Relief. Oh, we do. Relief footprints. That's cool. Scan this. Sputnik Monument. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> where'd it go? So there we are. I believe this comes with the ray tracing. Because they did, they did show a ray tracing trailer for this. I don't know if it's on by default. Oh.
Okay, so we gotta... Gotta fix... Oh, we gotta climb, okay. Thought we had to fix something, but... Nope, we just gotta climb up. Turn this, I guess. There we go. Climb down. And we're good to go. Ted, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Okay. Open sesame. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we got ourselves a flashlight. Oh, this is cool. Damn, dude, this is... This is something, you know? Oh, we need to find a password for that. Three five four eight. If power's out, use three five four eight. Okay. Three five four eight. There we go. Lift up the windows. Hell yeah, buddy. as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. So we're leaving for good? We're not coming back? Okay, we got a coin. Uh... There, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, all right. So, you guys just pause that and read those because I suck at reading. Uh, Morium, don't forget everyone we've lost that day. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring them all back. Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, we can pull it anywhere. That's cool. So that means we might need to use that for something else, I guess. All right. Oh, up here. Hopefully, hopefully this is just like a survival game. We don't fight any aliens or anything like that. I, I'm not into the whole alien combat stuff. So I don't really want to fight any aliens. All lives matter, even alien lives. What the heck? Hello, Claire's office. Isolated three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. So I guess we've we have been to over it these? before, multiple times. We're good. Come, it's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. Uh, if we fail, remember what I told you? Would it be a crazy you? twist? If it can be done, oh, then we're I can going leave to oh. do it. 
I can leave the menu to do it. That's cool. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Ground launch sequence. A little access arm, auxiliary power units. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess this up pretty bad. Okay. Let's go to the very top floor. Turn the power back on. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Yes, ma'am. Uh, museum. Where are we at? Here. Interact. Boot. Rebooting. Okay. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Do we just press the button? I think we just pressed the button, right? Wow, that is crazy good looking. Look at that, dude. Can we save screenshots? I think we can. Oh, I gotta go this way. Whoopsie. The storm is fast approaching. We must turn these. Oh, whoops. Oh, we can jump. Wow, we jump pretty high, dude. This is fuel. Oh, we gotta get... Okay, I see. We gotta carry something here. Where is that thing? Here it is. Get over here. Damn, dude, it's strong. Bring this. Release. And here we go. Climb it like that. Perfect. There we are. Now we climb. Pull. Turn this. Fuel it. There we are. Oh no, we got a timer. Run, Forrest, run! Ooh. Oh my god, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go.
Come on, elevator, come on. Dude, this is amazing. This looks incredible, actually, dude. I don't know what it's gonna look like with YouTube, but... Oh, dude, this is so cool. Clive, Clive, let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Rocket navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. Oh, we gotta flip these. Edit. Oh, that's cool, dude. Ground launch sequencer started. Uh, it's here. Orbital access arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Perfect, just like with practice. What do I gotta do? Do I have to push these? I don't I forgot what I gotta do. Uh A one three B three four. One three B three oh, four. Auxiliary power units booting up. Gas used oxygen vent arm and arm safely in place. There we go. I'm using a controller, so it's kind of. Should we pull it? Let's pull it. Rocket boosters oh, here we go. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start, one. We have liftoff. Oh, dude, here we go. Oh, you can see it on the sides that we're going higher. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Oh my god, this is... We're just... Oh my god, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, when are we gonna hit space? What's that? Is that the moon? Oh. The rocket has entered the thermosphere. You're on your way, but you know what? Oh, hell yeah. Now we are in space, floating around. Oh, look at that to the left. Oh, hell yeah. Is that the Earth? Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, we're in space. We are in space. MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about the future. Don't worry. You sent the wrong man to do the job. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pierce and Claire. Yes, ma'am. need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. The Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio. Oh! Contact. I didn't even notice this. So reach the station you must. Huh? Claire? Claire, what did you say?
Please send someone. Cut off main engine, okay? Ready for ignition, huh? Oh, let's do this. Fly me to the moon. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Deliver us the moon. Nice. Great intro. Actually, very great intro, man. That was so cool. <laughs> oh. oh, something exploded. What's that? Deliver us the moon, huh? Dude, that's pretty cool, man. So, like, set up the rocket. Oh, what's this? Is this a bridge dock? Oh, there we are. Distance to target, 500. Interact. Oh, did we get to dock this? Put that in there. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. First try. We didn't crash. We didn't die. We're good. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Floating. Dude, that's sick. One day I will do the same. When you oh. reach the control center, try to find out what's wrong with the MPT connection so you can bring it back online. Good luck of that. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna die of oxygen loss. Dude, that is pretty cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. Another window here. Can't really see much. All right, here we are. Press this. Oh, we got three minutes of oxygen, huh? Check the station's connection to the VP net. Bring the life support system back from it. Uh, central hub. Uh, okay. How do I do this? Grab this, and then I need to. 
carry this over here and plug it into the wall. Put another one there. Dude, look how beautiful this is. Oh my god. Close this. Grab this. We have two minutes of oxygen. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> Look at all this oxygen, baby. Mmm, delicious. Oh, yeah. Can we pry this door open? Is that all you get? Oh, you get three, three minutes is the most. Okay. Is there another one somewhere here? Hmm. I don't know where to... Can I take this one out? Put it in here? So it opens this? Can I reboot this? Open doors, dude. I think I'm gonna die here because I have no idea. I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I'll take this, plug this in here, keeps the door open, and then I take this. Yeah, that makes more sense. Grab this. And here. Now I reboot. There we go. Back of power. Access. support systems. Online. Oxygen levels. Rising. Perfect, look at that. Uh, assess station power and city control center in the Libria wing. Okay, now we go down. Oh, I didn't die. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, here we go. Control, we're all set. Ready for descent. The MPT network is still down, so expect the lines to go out as you descend towards Copernicus. Thanks for the heads up, Pearson. Remember, Sarah, our oxygen here in the station is limited. After arriving, you'll have 40 minutes to find out what caused the blackout and bring our MPT network back online. If you're not back by then, we'll have to evacuate without you. We hear you, Control. Rolf, you ready? I am. And don't worry, Control. It's probably just a glitch. We'll be back before you know it. Let's see, let's put on. Station let's power very low. How they've been holding up down oh. there. Alex, commence descent protocol. Let's go. 
Hey, look at that, dude. Push away. That's cool. What's down here? Oh, the moon. Oh, look at that, dude. No, Libra. Okay, so we go this way. Toilets. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. Almost there. We'll touch up your paint up later. Don't worry. Are you ready to go? We've almost got the elevator running again. Yeah, just patching up Alex before we head down. Are you bringing that thing along? Of course. We'll need all the help we can get. Besides, you wouldn't have made it to that airlock if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> this MPT blackout can't be just a glitch, Rolf. Everything is still dark down there. Last time there was an outage. Hey. Did you hear the message from Earth? No. What did they say? They can't even send ships up here anymore without the MPT. It's crazy, right? We're the only ones able to investigate the blackout. Okay, let's go. Okay. This guy got man, man, moon man, man moon. Okay. Oh, what's her? After car sleep generator. In 2040, Maria searched for Arnsel's letter to rescue the machine, unable to determine the exact cause of the malfunction. She sent this fragment to Pearson Space Station mechanic Rolf Robertson for assessment. What did he say? Yes. Exactly. They have changed the code again. The new code is 2539. I used to have to access the control center. Here, I believe. Two five three nine, okay. Correct. Oh, look at that, dude. This is gorgeous, man. Some snacks, soda. Where are we going? Oh, suits. Basically, our suits. Is there another code we have to use? Or can I use the same code? What's this? I think they changed the code. Nope. Can't use that. Alright, let's try it again. 2359. Or 2539. Sorry. Let's try this again. Doesn't work. What do we do with this? What the heck? Hmm. Did I just pass it? Is it just too? Oh, what's this? Right, okay. I'm gonna go down, I don't know why. Would it let me go down? Oh, I have to mouse scroll? Diagnosing, diagnosing, whatever. Cleansing network not established, why?
Additional energy required. Okay. Rotate station for additional power. Okay. Station rotation engine offline. So we got to turn that on. Wow, dude, this game is beautiful, man. Hmm. So here we go. That's it? Open sesame. Um. Oh. Collect that, I guess. Oh. A cutting tool. Oh yeah, just cut whatever, dude. I cut down here. I have to cut everything, right? Like this, baby. Oh, what's this? Energy for the cutter, huh? Oh, baby, look at this, boys. Eh, can we squeeze in? Yeah, uh, we can't. Too fat. Gotta cut a hole in the wall. This is dope so far, man. Holy. Ground control to Petuna 1. But still not reading anything from the MPT. Is everything on the control up there? Yeah, relax. I'm just, uh... Unlocking stuff. Flashlight is low. We don't need that right now. So we got oxygen. We're good to go. Assembly in section 3C now. Copy that. Do you think we'll finish construction anytime soon? Uh, the council claiming more supplies each week? Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm getting strange readings here from the lunar surface. Are you seeing anything? Oh, there goes that thing. What the hell? They're shutting down. Are you alright, Wolf? What just happened? I can't see a thing. Everything is dark out here. We lost power from the MPT. The whole station is down. Can you find your way back to the airlock? Negative. I don't have a visual. Alright, I'm sending Alex to block the airlock doors. Do you see him? Cut an emergency. It is an emergency. Heading back to the airlock. Get out of my way. What's going on? Oh Everything no. Wolf, not now. What's your ETA? Ten seconds. Make it faster. Once the airlock seals, you'll be locked out. Alex is blocking the door for you, but he can't hold it much longer. Is there a window here? Oh, there is. So we shut off the power. Then we go this way. Out of my way, box lid thing. Get out of here. Whoa. Fidget spinners. Water. Dude, this is water. 
Oh, it stays there. Okay, let's see. What do we do now? Um, still go this way. Oh, look at this. This looks nice. Uh, provide power to the station engines, okay. Do I use that? I take this one, right? more hmm. oh, I turn this oh I gotta cut these Take this. Life support energy supply at forty percent. No worry, baby. Plug this plug this guy in. Mm. Two more. Ah oh, shit. Gotta be. We gotta be pulling one of these out, I believe. Nope, oh, can't pull them out. Okay. Um. It's gotta be careful, I guess. Oh shit. Woo! Life support energy supply at 20%. Life support energy supply, oh shit. Plug it in. Push this. Ah, okay. Combination of both, huh? Dead. I died. I freaking died. Are you kidding? Oh wow! From the beginning. What the heck? From the beginning, bro. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna end it here. So this has been uh, part one of Deliver Us the Moon. Uh, if you guys are enjoying it, it always helps to leave a like. Subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, don't forget to turn on your notifications on your phone because YouTube is kind of wonky and it doesn't send notifications to the phone for some reason. And yeah, so we're gonna go from there. So as soon as I finish up, we're gonna get to the next part. I'm gonna continue on the episode. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying. It's a brand new game that just released. Uh, so far, it's pretty gorgeous. It looks cool. Uh, it's more like uh, kind of mystery style game so hopefully it's uh hopefully it's pretty cool i'm gonna try to do the best i can with it try to survive as much as i can with it so we'll see 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoy, and I'll catch you guys and girls in the next episode, or next part of Deliver Us the Moon. Peace out.